In this screencast, we're going over how to embed tweets, how to find them, and code snippet variations. What's up guys, Patrick from Art Storefronts, and I'm going to show you today how to embed tweets. Um, so you can see here in front of us, we've got the Art Storefronts Twitter page set up. And what you wanna do is you wanna just go into notifications and click notifications and you click mentions. And what this will do is this will give you all of the you know times that people have mentioned you on Twitter. And for some of you, this will go back years. Um, for others, you'll just have a little bit of history. But what you wanna do is you wanna search through that list and find the, you know, the tweets that are potential for you to embed. So in my instance, let's just pick the second one and you click these three little lines that say more. You come down here, you click embed tweet. Um, and there you go, it, it spits out the code for you just like that. Now you can see there's this other button here, include parent tweet, we don't want that, we just want you know the, the, the good section for the testimonial. So literally we're just gonna grab that code and copy it. Um, and then for the time being, I'm gonna paste it in this notepad document, but really all you have to do is paste it into your website and click publish and there it is. But before we get there, I wanna I want make one other mention. So you saw, you saw coming into you know, your Twitter homepage, going to the homepage, um, getting notifications, going to mentions and finding it that way. Um, for some of you, you're just getting your business, just getting started that's going to be hard. You're not going to find any tweets, but some of you are not on Twitter, but you've been in business for a while. If that's the case, um, don't hesitate to, to actually run a search on Twitter and see, see if your business is not mentioned. And you can do that by going to um, uh, search.twitter.com or just Google Twitter search and type your business name in there. Because even if you're not on Twitter, there might be some people that had a great experience and, you know, want to or, or, or tweeted about it. And so you've, you've got a, you've got a potential testimonial waiting for you there as well, which, you know, it's just a, a good little trick of the trade. So let's go to the code quickly. Um, it basically, you've got block quote here, block quote, and then you've got a script. Um, I basically just broke it up. It all comes mashed together, but I broke it up just to keep things um, simple. I wanna show you one other thing. Um, and let me just shift gears here. So there's a couple of different ways um, that people can embed tweets. And without getting too deep into the weeds, this is really what we want most of the time, right? We just want their face, testimonial, the time, all of those things. But there's other options, like sometimes they might include an image and you'll see the image up top and you know there's the tweet down below. We might just want the tweet. Um, or it could, it could have a vine embedded in it. This is the example of a vine embedded in it, um, which is kind of cool. It's actually you know, playing the movie. Um, or it could have what are called Twitter cards. Now, th these are Twitter cards here and it's, it's got additional information on it. So um, sometimes they'll throw this stuff on there and you don't want that. So I'm, I'm gonna walk you through briefly the code snip that cleans all of this up, which is right here. So it's a data conversation, which, which is the back and forth. Sometimes it might stack a couple of tweets on top of one another. It's data cards, which is like all the, the links, the vines, um, uh, images or anything like that. And then you have the ability to align it, which is kind of key. So without getting too far into the weeds, I think, I think these, val these variables are really, really important. And what you do is, depending on which one you want to use, all or none, you can use data conversation, none, data cards, hidden, align center, or align right, or align left. And you just kind of copy this snippet. You go right in here in the first block quote section and you paste that in there. And by doing that, you'll be able to control those various different variables. And so I'll leave um, this code snippet um, at the bottom in, in the YouTube video as well, but in the show notes as well. And you'll be able to, to get it and use it. And there you go. That's how you can embed tweets in your e-commerce store and uh, let it be the social proof it can be. Thank you.